All right, everybody, this is just a video on an upgrade that we do to our transport band frame assemblies. Uh, this is a brand new one that we get. I'm sure is I'm not sure if everybody has issues like we do, but our transport band frames end up usually with the vibration they'll crack out right along that seam where it bends to go to the lock nut up in the top here. It'll crack right across this seam with all the vibrations from all the bowling and everything. So when we get in new frames before we install them at our facility. We take the frames and we will grind out certain locations here and at the top, bottom top, three spots right here. And we end up taking three sixteenths. take 3 sixteenths flat bar stock steel about two inches wide and we'll cut it up into a bunch of squares take all the squares and we weld those into a, the, the frame itself before we install it so you can see right here I've got the square installed the spot here and here uh, we don't put our, uh, there's different ways you could weld it. You could do a triangle angle. Uh, I opted out to do that because if the transport band gets pushed over to the side somehow, I didn't want a, a, flat, a flat edge of the steel cutting against my T-band. So I voted to angle it this way so that it'll go past. Uh, be sure not to get it too hot. You don't want to melt out your lock nuts here. And be sure to space it out. Pay attention to where your bolts are going to insert into the kickback plates to hold it up. Both sides. So I've got enough gap and room. Put the three of them in there. And uh, so far, so good. We haven't had issues. Uh, usually when we switch out a lane, we will do both sides. Even though just one side broke, since you've already got it open and you know how much work it is to get it open and to get to those sections, we go ahead and switch out both sides at the same time. Get it done with bring the other one back if it's not cracked we go ahead and grind it and weld these in to make sure that it stays strong be sure not to over temper your steel you don't want to have it lose its strength while you're trying to build strength into it 